Welcome to our review on atoms. So the first thing we really need to understand are a few of these keywords we use in chemistry and what they actually mean. So the first one is the word element, which quite simply is the simplest form of a chemical. And they're made from only one type of atom. And we've got about 100 different elements here on Earth. When we talk about this word atom, we're referring to these tiny particles. A molecule is where we've got two or more atoms that are joined together. And the compound is where we have two or more elements that are chemically bonded together as the result of a chemical reaction. If we now go on to think about the actual structure of these atoms, then you've got a diagram at the bottom that shows you the key features. So what we actually have is in the center there, which is made up of the blue and the red particles, that's the nucleus. Now, the nucleus itself is made up of the protons and the neutrons. And then around the nucleus in these orbitals or shells, we find the electrons, which are the green ones in the diagram. Now, one of the things that we use in chemistry a lot is the periodic table, which you can see on the left there. And that's actually one you're going to get in your exam on AQA. Now, the periodic table, as you can see, relies on using the symbols because the actual names are quite small on there. And therefore, we generally look for the symbols, which are just a one, two or three letter abbreviation of the name. The other bits of information that we actually get in that box are the atomic number and the atomic mass. And I've given you a blown up version of each box on the right there just to show you where they are. Now, the key thing to remember here is that when you're in the exam and you can't remember which is the atomic number and which is the atomic mass, they've given you a key on the actual periodic table. If you look towards the left hand side, it tells you what each of those things actually are. So there's no excuse for not knowing that. Why do we use a chemical symbol? Well, simple reason, no matter what language you happen to speak, it's the same in all countries. So when we actually come to think about what we can work out just by looking at a combination of these symbols in a chemical formula, then we can actually learn an awful lot because these are actually the basis of the language that makes up chemistry. So if we have a look at the example I've given you here of H2SO4, then just by looking at that formula without knowing anything else about it, we can see it's made up of three different elements because there are three different capital letters there. We also know it contains seven atoms because if we have a look, there's a little two after the H, which tells us there's two hydrogens. The S is on its own, so one sulfur, and the four after the O tells us there's four oxygens. Just remember when you're looking at those numbers, they only apply to the letter directly in front. So four plus one plus two gives us seven atoms. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe the basic structure of an atom. You can recall what the chemical symbols are used for and also be able to interpret a formula in terms of the number of elements and the number of atoms it's made of.